And now, Hangar 56 Media presents Spike's Car Radio, a downloadable cars and coffee, hosted by writer, comedian, and automotive enthusiast, Spike Ferriston. Now, here's Spike. It's a season for gladness, a season for joys. Families roast chestnuts and children get toys. Happy are the merchants and little girls and boys. Okay now, but what about the rest of us? We give three cheers, rah, 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 for Festivus. For Festivus. Happy Festivus for Happy Festivus for you. We'll give. Look at me trying to get up that energy. Happy Festivus, everybody. I'm here with uh, Matt Fair. I'm here with Zuckerman. I'm here with Johnny Lieberman. And I'm trying not to be depressed because I uh, forgot to hit record. And we did, boy, we did 15 good minutes. <laughs> this is a really good show. 15 greatest minutes of radio. This is a really good show. But now we're warmed up. It was awesome. <laughs> And yeah. Uh, yeah. and it's always better. It's always better when we record like we've that. Done this You'll before. see, we've this done it happened. before. It happens. You warmed up. Everybody's got their uh, their shaky voice <laughs> I'm glad out I of there. We got to do this one really quick because I have plans tonight. So this yeah, is yeah, it's going to be really start. quick. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Festivus Show. Um, we're excited to be with you because it's a uh, it's a very special show for us where we're going to air our grievances. There'll be a feat of strength. We're going to air your grievances. They'll uh, they'll be blasted around the world, especially Sri Lanka and Slovenia and other places Lithuania, where Lithuania one. and Dunes. India, where they listen to both uh, mother's family's from Spike's Car Radio Same. and the Smoking Tire, both uh, very popular shows there. Um, but first, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to read this again, Zuckerman. <laughs> I've got new history on um, Festivus uh, from uh, Danny O'Keefe, who was the writer on Seinfeld, who uh, had this happening in his family growing up. And we heard about it on the staff and we put it into an episode and he wasn't happy about it. And it's since become. It's, it's kind of like Scientology with e, e Ron, L. Ron Hubbard. You know, you read the, that bet they had? That who can start a religion first? L. Ron Hubbard and somebody else, was yeah, it? Yeah. And then and now they're saying, nobody even knows that. that, that, all, that the whole the loser's religion of that bet? Oh, I can't remember. Christianity. <laughs> yeah, Christianity. <laughs> yes. That was the loser. Yeah. That's how big yeah. Scientology is right in now. This town, but, in this town. Um, I didn't. You know, Danny was always very upset when we turned that into a story. And we, meaning like the senior writers on the writing staff, and Jerry liked it too. And I never really understood why until I read this article that came out this week. And Zuckerman, you'll appreciate this. Um, these are the real stories of his father and his family and, and what happened there. So let me read some of these to you. And, and I think uh, it'll be nice if I play a little uh, instrumental Christmas music to go along with the... Incredible dysfunction. Oh, well, that's nice. Danny O'Keefe is quoted as saying, I mean this in the nicest possible way. My father was an undiagnosed bipolar severe alcoholic who nonetheless was extremely high functioning and held down a job as an editor at Reader's Digest. I wish you all could see Zuckerman smile right now. <laughs> he's so, he's so I happy. can relate to pain. <laughs> These painful families. As a long-term <laughs> subscriber of Reader's Digest. Yeah, so. <laughs> O'Keefe's father invented the holiday. At one point, he said it was an anniversary for his first date with my mom. And he also said a lot of crazy shit, so who knows? Oh, my God. <laughs> People are celebrating this. It was a holiday that was unique to our family that was ostensibly a strength and it didn't have to have a set date. In real life, it could just happen whenever the fuck he felt like it or was extremely hungover and wanted to jumpstart his synapses. In one year, there were two festivuses for some reason. One year, there were none. You never knew when it was coming. <laughs> it's today. It's now, Junior. <laughs> If you don't get me beer, we're having festivals. <laughs> in real life, there was no pole. There was a nail he hammered into the wall in the early 70s. That's, that's my favorite part of this. Idea. <laughs> I know. I've read this three times. I'm still laughing. And every year he put and every year he put a clock in a bag and hung it on the wall. <laughs> and the symbol of the holiday was a fucking clock in a bag for some reason. And there was a poem attached to it that referred to the clock in the bag 
four line stands is if I find it, I'm going to burn it before I share it with the world. <laughs> That's like the, you know, like the Holy Grail or what are they? What's the what the, the wrap of Jesus? What was no, that? The Shroud. The Shroud. The, the shroud. Yeah. yeah the we need to find that. Sea scrolls. The Festivus poem. <laughs> Every time we asked dad about the clock in the bag, he literally screamed at us. That's not for you to know. <laughs> <laughs> so we celebrated this thing with my brothers and I quickly realized you don't talk about it at school or you're going to get beat. But, o- but O'Keefe's colleague sensed comedic gold and lured him to a diner to convince him to include festive in, in the show. I don't remember this, but I'm guessing it's me, Berg, Schaefer, and Mandel. Uh, he says that we're not thugs. We were like the head writers of the show. Um, and they said, uh, one of us said, sit down. Jerry thinks this is hilarious and we want to put it in the show. And I tried to dissuade them of that. Here, let me turn off. Whoa. Marshall Tucker just came on. And apparently uh, he tried to stop us. Um, and I do know Jerry liked it. And uh, someone said, look, it can either go in your episode or someone else's. <laughs> that sounds like you. <laughs> it you does. Can't, you can't untell us this But story. I don't. I would never take credit for any of this because it really. Uh, and Danny said, fuck it. Let's just do it. And the rest is history. And the rest is... I want to know is- why the clock in the bag was abandoned in favor of the pole. The pole's good. Nothing wrong with, with the, the pole. Clock in the the bag, clock in the bag is great. There's so much darkness yeah. in that clock yeah. in the bag trying to, to take time hostage. I you, see you something. Spike, you didn't know about the clock in the bag until you saw this interview, right? No, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah, I knew I about it. I just things. didn't I didn't know how important it was. And, you know, I'm Maybe sure someone... In hindsight, it seems very important. When you're, when you're, <laughs> TV, <laughs> when you're in your 50s and <laughs> and you're disappointed with lo- where life is going. The clock in the bag makes a lot yeah, more when sense. Your, when you're in your 20s, it you're like, make, make it like a stripper pole. That'll yeah, be funny. That'll so be what, right, right. <clears throat> Let's see. This show is airing on the 22nd. We're really going to miss... Yeah, Christmas is after that. Someone will tap Danny on the shoulder, but... Um, Do you think they also celebrated like either of like the regular made-up holidays? Well, that's... I, I think... <laughs> oh, keep doesn't sound too Jewish. <laughs> 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 We'll have to get Danny. To, I'll have to get him. Uh, I'll try to zoom with him to get him to talk about this, but he probably won't. <laughs> you think? Yeah, he's. I think it's. Of you know, it's. I think it's a little painful. Well, of course, you know, there's always. I, I know on the street that I grew up in in suburbia, there was a couple of families where the kids always looked a little out of sorts, and you never got invited to their house. They never talked about their family. They just wanted to be at your house. There was a sadness <laughs> yes. hanging over them. Well, That's this family. Well, yeah. the, on my street, it was the dad was a peeping Tom who used oh, to Jesus. like. We used to catch him like jerking off to our babysitter. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Lieberman. Oh, Wait, 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 wait. wait. You can't can't just drop that it's without explaining. We, we used, used to, to catch. catch him. We used to catch him. How did wait, wait, you catch him? How well, did you catch him? We, I mean, were you the, here for sex? The, the one time was so. This is horrible. So his daughter, who is thirteen, and her friend, who is oh, thirteen, boy. were babysitting us, and we heard them screaming. My sister and I, and we ran downstairs, and like they were out in the backyard screaming at someone. When we didn't, you know, I was like nine or whatever. I had no idea what was happening. Then my dad, who, you know, was was a great parent, but like had no filter, was like, hey, he's a peeping Tom. And I'm like, what's a peeping Tom? He's like, that's a guy that likes to look in the window and jerk off. He, I don't know if he's a jerk off, but masturbate to uh, what he sees. And I'm like, he's looking at his daughter and her friend. Wow. Yeah. So that was. That's a, that that's a scary dog. Dog. <laughs> We had a UPS guy that sometimes didn't have his pants on in the, in the, in the truck. <laughs> my mom was shopping. Chris- my mom was Christmas shopping at Kmart and a man opened his trench coat and he had. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I totally. Have suppressed this memory, and, <laughs> and she came home laughing. She goes, "Guess what happened to me?" And I, I does that bother you? She goes, oh, "I'm a nurse. You know, I see people naked right. all the time." And, but we were just like, "Why would he do this at a Kmart on the way in?" And it was a trench coat. She said it was a trench the coat. Real honest, that's like, trench that's, coat. Yeah, yeah, the original. That's the real deal. Actually, keeping happened, and I'm sure it does. Oh, it does. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We there was a, there was another guy in the neighborhood that like would expose himself at like the thrifties. Which is like a CVS. And this was Studio City. Where was no, it? Thousand Oaks. Thousand, Thousand Oaks. Oaks. Yeah, wow. he would wear, he would wear valley pants. flashers. Yes. Well, yeah. I have a perfect sponsor. <laughs> Merry Christmas, by the way. Welcome to the Festivus episode of Spike's Car Radio. And uh, you know, you just heard a bunch of crazy stories. And if if you uh, don't feel safe in your home, well, I have a solution for you. This week's our our friends at Simply Safe 
are giving you guys at the Spikes Car Radio audience or early access to all their holiday deals, 40% off their award-winning home security. We love Simply Safe because it has everything you need to make your home safe. <laughs> do you have cameras? Do you have a mom who goes to Kmart? Do you have 13-year-old daughters who babysit? Well, Simply Safe, who won't be advertising after this, <laughs> can keep your indoor and outdoor uh, cameras. Uh, they have comprehensive sensors, all monitored around the clock by trained professionals who can send you instant uh, help to uh, fix all that. Simply Safe was uh, even named the best home security system of 2021 by U.S. News and World Report. You can easily customize the system for your home online in minutes and even get free custom recommendations from Simply Safe. These are Simply Safe's biggest discounts of the year. You can get a complete home security system starting at just over 100 bucks. There are no long-term contracts and commitments, which we like. It's a really easy way to start feeling a bit more uh, peace of mind. <laughs> Uh, Simply Safe's holiday deals uh, get 40% off for new home security system. SimplySafe.com slash spike. It's a microsite. Go there. Simply Safe. Uh, S I M P L I S A F E dot com slash spike. SimplySafe.com slash spike. 40% off your entire system. And uh, so you I want one, you to go wait, 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 one at a time. One easy. at a time. What? What? I didn't say Nothing. anything. I'm just saying they sent me a system and it's actually very easy to set up. It takes no time at all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mine's on the way. Yeah. Okay. Where are you using it? Am I, I set it up in my house. Oh, wow. I set it up in my, my new house that's under construction. Two I guys. Said, it's it's more than two guys. That's a good yeah. thing. It's more than two guys. But they but they uh yeah, they sent it there and I got like glass break sensors and motion sensors and that's like what a I like flood about it. Sensor, right. temperature sensors, all there's like twenty five mm. different sensors they sent me. It's cool. It, it most uh, security systems used to be you have to wire every window, every door, and yeah. the whole thing. Right now, crooks don't quite care. <laughs> They're going to kick in whatever. <laughs> so as long as you have something going off and calling the people yeah. you need to call, it it's works. It's good. So they can arrive and money. pick up your, your dead, lifeless body. The trained <laughs> professionals <laughs> can come scoop you up. I want you to go to the school to become a trained professional for Me? Simply Safe. Yes. I, I would. It's I, probably a really joyful you know, job. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you know. It depends. You can have Simply Safe call whoever you want, and if you, it, you know, you get teams here in LA. They're they different just, teams. You have to time well, your just teams. Call Johnny. If someone breaks into my house, I want Simply Safe to just call Johnny. Like, <laughs> like what's hey. up? I'm like, no way, man. Traffic. <laughs> <laughs> the All right. Side. Yeah. No. 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 Let's start with a grievance, gentlemen. We'll start with ours. We'll go to listener grievances. Then we'll have a feat of strength. And this time. <laughs> I remember to hit record. <laughs> We're recording <laughs> right now. This is exactly where we got to. <laughs> yeah. So your grievance, get it out. I know you all have a grievance against me for not hitting record. That's fine. It's done. But I want to hear your fresh grievances, automotive or otherwise. Well, I have another grievance against you and also against Zuckerman. Okay. And I have Matt, too. Go uh, ahead. It's uh, it podcasting up. from your houses. And like, you've never offered, like, hey, let's go to Johnny's house. Ain't gonna happen. Let's right. make Johnny schlep across... LA traffic on Friday nights to podcast mm. every week. That that's cool. That's my grievance. I'm so. Well, the, the, you'll so, have it next so year too. What's that? You'll have it next year too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll yeah. be there. It's a, I'm not looking for a solution. I'm just airing the damn grievance. I built a studio so that people would come to me. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you're you're even worse. You're no. you're in the worst part of town. That is what happens when you build that studio. That's yeah. why I like the portable unit. It gives me flexibility to do. Yeah, you go here and your your house, well, you, but not you can, Johnny's. Yeah, you can do. You can do <laughs> exactly. I would go to Johnny's house. You can do. Where you do can, you live? I live over behind those tall buildings off in the distance. Where's that? That's uh. <laughs> like, where's that? I've never been there. That's that is East there LA. On the other there. side of those buildings. I've never I don't been. even see. Go that's, down to those that's buildings. That's east of there. That's East LA. I live in. I live in Northeast LA. Would Richard be there? Yeah. <laughs> he would be there. Is he covered in jelly? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. Matt, you don't know that. We are, we, he was babysitting Richard one day, and he was in there with jelly, <laughs> trying not to get Zuckerman's living room dirty. And not only did he get jelly on the carpet, he also crapped himself four times. <laughs> and it, it was, was a very twice and it, memorable show. Yeah, it was yeah. beautiful mid-century. And he home. instantly yeah. became uh, the star. The a mascot. star. <laughs> he's, he's the mascot. <laughs> he's, a, he's a listener favorite. Yeah. Zuckerman, you must have a grievance in the world. Uh, something you know, you're we're, upset we're about. three and a half years since my house burned down, or a little over yeah, three yeah. years, and I realized there's a lot of people building in L.A., and I've got two guys building my house, and I really honestly don't think that two guys can build a house. <laughs> it's never going to get finished, right? So the replacement house after the fire has only two workers? It, oh, it seems that way. And what are they doing? I don't know, drywalling a little bit. One guy <laughs> seems to have a broom, and one guy has some nails and a hammer. And, and you can go there, and 
it's it's like nothing nothing seems to change. Not all that much. There's a lot of that in my neighborhood right now. Everybody's building and doing things, but it's not big crews. Yeah, there's no such. What thing. is that? So that's so too many weird. between all the houses that have burned down in California, and there's tens of thousands of them that are being replaced. Right, plus right. all of the people that seem to be remodeling everything. Lots right, of remodel right. jobs. You're welcome. Yeah. And uh, but I I had some guys come out to trim the trees are these huge palm trees and there was like eight of them and they were done in like twelve minutes and it was still fifteen hundred bucks. Well, that's why because all you're doing is trimming. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Know, <laughs> that's not it down. building. But Taking I was they were like oh they were like it's it gonna up. be a day it's gonna cost fifteen hundred bucks and they were like done like you know that's it was like they nine trees by the day. They yeah, oh, yeah, they they remind me about yeah, yeah. the palm tree trimming for the next uh, for the next policy genius. I'm always <laughs> yeah. We have we have one of those. Yeah, I we had one in our neighborhood too. The chainsaw bounced off the tree. And a chainsaw bounced off the tree. Yeah, the guy wasn't experienced. It wasn't. It wasn't my house, but the yikes. guy lost his arm. And really, uh, yeah. arm? Oh, yikes! Yeah, yeah. Jesus. I don't think he Timber. made it. You don't yeah. think he made it? <laughs> no, he no, died. No, no. I'm pretty it's a good sure. Good way to yeah, die. Yeah. I mean, you lose by a lot chainsaw? of everything. It's horrible. It was a horrible, awful, horrible oh thing. God. So but, was blood loss or falling or what? <laughs> I think <laughs> all of it. I don't know. Don't taking notes. I think I told you about it. Yeah. That's we can talk about it later. It wasn't my house. I will say that. It's just something Thank that God. happened on the street. But Jesus. That's crazy. I think the fella had some money. So That's a grievance. What do you got? <laughs> uh, so I, I right right before uh, Spike learned that he hadn't pressed record, <laughs> uh, I, was, I was talking I got about- got a lot on my mind. <laughs> I, met, I met yesterday with my YouTube analytics guy, and this is a car-related grievance. And we, we went through my, my best performing and worst performing videos of the year. And there's a, a few consistencies in that the, the best performing videos are all sports cars that are reasonably accessible. Attainable. Uh, not necessarily like cheap because like 911s count, but like not like the crazy, you know, I just, uh, you know, not, not two and a half million dollar like race cars. I just drove a Wyra R. Yeah, yeah. not that. Yeah, yeah. Like, any any new Porsche road car or the new 86 or any new Mustang or right. or that kind of stuff stuff that people could buy that's why they come to my channel right does this guy who's driven everything say that I should or should not buy this car right 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 but every year there are fewer and fewer cars in this category and it's getting harder and harder for me to make the videos that people want to watch because there just aren't enough cars anymore. They're going away, the enthusiast cars. And so I'm driving new EVs that in theory should be exciting, but they're not pulling the numbers. Right. I'm driving sporty crossovers that go really fast, but they're not pulling numbers. I'm driving these crazy million dollar track day specials that should be wild, and they're not pulling the numbers. This is and a so very interesting thing you're, you're my describing. My grievance is that there is a, uh, the, the the market for cars that people can buy and enjoy on the street, sports cars, is dying, and it's going to take my career down yes, with it. Yes, that's what I'm looking at. <laughs> that's a grievance. <laughs> that's I a thought, real grievance. That is a grievance. I thought for sure, Matt, because I, you know, in the morning I open up my Twitter feed, and you're always tweeting in the morning, and uh, you I were do go tweet with my coffee. You were going on <laughs> about uh, a client's plaid uh, Tesla. And how trying to park it in your storage. I've been waiting for this. 17-point turn. <laughs> I have been waiting for a, someone to bring in and a plaid the the and for me to have to do a ridiculous right. parking maneuver to get this thing into my stackers. And today was the fucking day. <laughs> And that I had to do a ridiculous <laughs> maneuver in a plaid. This is this what you is wrote. The Let me just read your design in automotive history. The, the wheel. The, the yoke. yoke and the touchscreen shifter are the two biggest step backwards in automotive development, bar none. <laughs> what a joke! And I wrote, "Is this your festivist grievance?" It wasn't because I didn't want to make it a Tesla rant show because I that would be We've too done predictable. That. We've done We've that. We've done that. I have that artwork framed on my wall. I have the shirt, but I, I didn't want to make. I wanted to leave that in a tweet, but you but you brought it up can i and say so this? the combination of the fact that this car only has the bottom half of a steering wheel and the, the shifter is on is part of the touch screen you have to touch swipe 
So you have to swipe to shift could gears. You, could you tear the touch screen off of the dash? <laughs> could you do that? Yes. Well, like, that was so sad. Because, that would cripple the car. <laughs> but I understand. But you know, the, we, in the olden days, you had a guy like Elvis. He gets a Pantera, which is a cool <laughs> car that we all want. It doesn't work. He shoots it. And, and can you? But the, you, you're not going to shoot a plaid. I would it's not want a shoot. To. You would or would? I would. No, it's just. I like the plaid. I want. Just walk away from it. But. There's nothing wrong with a very fast electric car. Right. That interface yeah. is an enormous step backwards for cars. I like it. Can I, I say this? Cool. But as cool <laughs> as difficult. I don't want to. Yeah, we don't want to get bogged. I just think you thought cool. it was to park. Way do you park that Gunther Works parked out front? Oh yeah. That is might the have, steering wheel round? That's a start. It, it might have. <laughs> it might have the largest turning radius in, oh, no, in that, human history. Yeah. Well, I've drove the coupe. Yeah. I think this and the is coupe worse. is, is I think horrible. This, I think somehow this is where. Actually, I, yeah. Like we were shooting in downtown, and like you know, a photographer is like, "Do a U-turn, do a U-turn." Yeah. It was just like. 19 point yeah. turns in this yeah it was that just, is not surprising because yeah, i yeah. drove the gunther right. works yeah. coupe and it, it did actually have yeah. the worst yeah. turning radius th- in all of automotive history i think they beat it <laughs> i think they beat they, they set a new record well they're building 25 yeah so i know, I think that, I I know. Think, but you, you know you're gonna have to suffer for a couple days i will suffer does yeah, it have yeah. heat Oh, Let's, there's no heat. There's no I heat. told you to dress God, warm. You said it has no windows. Freezing. I'd say it had no heat. I literally this traded, I got. I traded <laughs> a blanket this morning for a pair of gloves. Oh, my God. <laughs> 850,000, bro. I have, I, have, I, have purple, I have purple leather gloves for that I traded. 150 grand for a plaid, you get no shifter in the bottom half of a wheel. And for only four <laughs> times that amount, you get no glass and no heater. No roof. <laughs> yeah, They're yep. both great, though. Yeah, I would We're take either one. Suck. Money for shit that doesn't work right. If they pull the windshield off, though, they could add another hundred thousand. Yeah. <laughs> Bill is texting me. If it's not too late, can you put in a plug for my Christmas pies? <laughs> Buy Bill's pies. <laughs> Buy Bill's Christmas pies. Oh, dude, I got Bill. Malibu Kitchen. So get this. Here's wait, a wait, Bill's wait, wait. Let me let quick. me just tell him. Uh, apple crumb, harvest berry, <laughs> pecan, deep dish pumpkin, seat. Potato, pick up Christmas Eve. I think this airs Christmas potato. Eve. So I, I saw you spike Thanksgiving Eve yes. at Bill's because yep. I was getting some pies. Mm-hmm. And I got two pies, apple pie and pecan pie. Yep. And he said that he was... He wasn't pleased with how the pecan pie came out. He was embarrassed about how the pecan I, pie came I've out. I've been apologized to three times about and the, it. And yes. he, he wouldn't let me pay for the fucking pie. I did not pay for mine. And I was like, please, can I pay? The pie looks fine. Can I A please man pay of pie integrity. for the pie? And he was like, no. <laughs> no. And I was like, All right, fine. I, I'll get a third pie and I'll pay for that. <laughs> so I can at I least did. pay yes. you for two pies. Yes. And then you saw me put three pies in the box. The oh, cargo that's right. Box. In the I'm scooter. Like, right. I put three pies. Vertically stacked in the car. Did it work? They all made it home. Wow. 100% success. And how was the pecan? It was great. It was the best one. <laughs> it was the best. Yeah, it was easily. The best easily. One. The easily. It was dank. It was, it was the only one that my guests completely slaughtered. Yeah, yeah. The other two were fine. They were great. But like, this was the best one. And I was like, you're embarrassed by this? Stop it, you psycho. All right, I have to do an actual ad. <laughs> Last oh. one, and then we're going to do your uh, grievances and we're all going to comment on them. Spike, do you have a grievance? Uh, I have to think about that. Oh, I, I want to show. Uh, well, he's got listener grievances. I've got I've got oh, a lot of listener great. grievances. I'm going to throw them out there, and you guys can uh, comment th- on them. Hopefully, one at a time. There's the listeners. Over that. That. There's that the traffic, listeners. Yeah. One at a time. It really sucks right now. It's horrible. Yeah. December in LA is the worst. I don't know what it is, and then it goes away. No on the one 24th. does any work, and they just drive around the city <laughs> in circles. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Mini Max Bugs. Drivers who randomly yield their right of way, confusing every driver around and actually creating more hazardous situations than they did, than what was expected. 110% I agree. But can we just say all drivers, like any other car is a grievance, like anyone else on the road. (laughs) No, but this one. So there's someone in front of you and you're eager to get there and they start letting people into traffic or yielding. Uh, Yeah, yeah. It's it's horrible. horrible. But I I can come with a hundred. They're all horrible. If you you have have the the right right of way, keep going. Yeah, 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 keep the right of way. Yeah. One so, at a time, one at a time. Also, when, when lanes merge, learn how to zip. Yes. Yeah. Okay, here's the game, Johnny. I'm going to throw these out, and we're going to explore them. <laughs> explore this. <laughs> yes, there are hundreds of grievances, <laughs> but it's up to you to take them apart and discuss them, uh, too not much shut work. them down. Too much work. Too much work. All right. Uh, L.A. Car Spotter says, uh, Toyota just splitting out ideas, or are they actually planning to produce any of the 20 vehicles they show? 
It's like Lotus in 2006. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, the Danny Behar. It's Toyota's yeah, Danny yeah, Behar yeah. moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, they. I mean, they're gonna do. They're gonna. They're gonna do some EVs. They, obviously, they gotta move to EV. I think that is like. Here's all the designs we of our, our entire design team. What do you think? Yeah. And they'll probably do that FJ. <laughs> And yeah, the, that FJ was like a sad kind of Bronco Sport FJ, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Although I have to say, my analytics guy reminded me that the Bronco Sport video did double the views that my Bronco video did. And you know what? Bronco Sport is twice as good as the Broncos. <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're what if doing, that? They're kind what if we it. found out Matt's analytics guy was really him in a wig? <laughs> 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 what would you do? This guy drives a I'm thousand Matt's horsepower IROC. Analytics guy. Oh, I know him. Kevin. That's great. Yeah, yeah, he rules. That car's amazing. He was at the Blueies. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He rules. No, he yeah. was like, should I get a mullet wig? I'm like, commit to yes. the bit. Get yep. a mullet. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, sunroof Delete, uh, who I hung out with at the Brentwood Country Mart. Uh, I wouldn't call it a show. There's a little meet every c- couple of weeks. Oh, did you go He's been week? taking our pictures. Amazing. He's a right? doctor. He's a radiologist. Is, but wasn't he taking posting pictures of us passing yes. by coastline? He was talking about that. He's a drone freak. He he stakes out all cars and he takes he's got non he's he, you know a guy who's a doctor right and there are a couple of them down there they're working insane hours this guy looks like he never sleeps so when he's not working he's raising his family and taking car pictures <laughs> non there's no rest and he doesn't seem to ever get tired anyways here's his grievance the Brentwood Country Mart has brought back the parking attendants who love nothing more than to shame me for not validating my ticket and insisting on the $5 parking charge. God, I didn't know they raised it to 5 Well, Sunroof, let me, let me uh, comment on this one because I can tell you a little story about the Brentwood Country Mart valets. Um, could get me in trouble. Uh, uh, our good friend John, his wife, uh, pulled her uh, Range Rover in, left her purse in the car. Uh-oh. Came out, the purse was gone. John, being, you know, he used to produce uh, crime shows, uh, goes into the security place and gets them to play back the video, um, which they don't want to play back. It takes him about a week to get that video. Yeah. And on the video, he sees his wife pull in. Then he sees, shortly after, a car pull up, not looking at other cars, goes right to the Land Rover, takes the purse, and then gets in the car and then leaves with it. What does that tell you, Zuckerman? Tipped off. The tip off. It's the, the tip, tip off, off, right? Yeah. I lost a car that way. Uh, my nine nine three C two S. Same How way. How clever! Somebody Same way. scoping everything and right. and very clever thieves. So How? I don't know. If five dollars. I, I mean, I just don't trust and, that and lot. I like, I like sunroof delete. I'm just going to say, if a guy could get through medical school, he can remember to get a validation. Yeah, right? yeah. Come on. I yeah. think. I mean, forget about that. What's your starting salary? Like six hundred grand a year. Like pay the five bucks. Oh, he's shaking his head right now. But he loves all of us. And we love, and we love we, him. We love Sunroof Delete. And I don't want to know your real name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was the fun thing about that little meetup. Everybody had, I knew everybody by the Instagram handle. And that was it. <laughs> I don't want to learn. For some reason, they're easier to remember. Because they're witty. They're catchy. Yes. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. Uh why even let the public own white or black Ford Explorers? <laughs> That's pretty good. I like That's this funny. Yes. That's Baited Wolf. Yes, thank you. It is true. You know, I have to admit, I hate people who buy old cop cars, and I also want to be one of those people. I do like the way it makes people in traffic react. Yeah, Zach had one uh, who works with me on the smoking tire. He had a, an no, ex-police like, detective car, and it, it wasn't even like a black and white. It was blue. Um, but it had all the other hallmarks of being an ex-police car, and peep the seas would part like Moses. So once yeah, we get yeah. Crown Vicks with a little with a little light, <laughs> that's what it was. Yeah, the, the now light, you get yeah. the Explorer. But yeah, but about oh boy, this is getting on twenty years ago. Long story, but my friend was a uh, porn director. And he calls me. Wow. He calls oh, me at seven thirty okay. on a Saturday, and he's like, "I need your help." Shit. I go, "What?" Yeah. He goes, "We shot a big budget porno, and I have thirteen cop cars." By your house, I gotta get them back to the valley. I got it today before noon, or I get charged another day. Can you help me drive? Big push your porn. We, have, we don't want to get charged another yeah, day. Well, you know. <laughs> and I can imagine, I can imagine what the storyline was: cops and, and so yeah. yeah, yeah. But so we had we had twelve Crown Vicks and a SWAT van, and we drove. And I've never felt the power because these were actual police cars with yeah. with the lights covered up, and it was before cell phones. So we were like trying to figure out where we're going to eat lunch on the last run. And so I pulled up next to my friend and there was like two cops on the 134 pulling up next to each other, like 
traffic stopped. Joints were flying out of cars. The cans of beer were flying. Seatbelts were being put on. It was awesome. It was so yeah, good. the power is real. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, Scott Chansett. People making gross noises at their desks at work. Be silent or be gone. That's a good one, Zuckerman. I mean, do you have that in your office? Well, I, I have. I actually suffer from something called hyperacusis. It's a self-diagnosed disease, but it means <laughs> it means that that I can't take repetitive noises. Repetitive oh. noises make me nuts. That's a sign of intelligence. And, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and so people yeah. who make mouth noises, who repetitive throat clearing, uh, coughing, it's also a sign ice. of assholes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. But who's do you notice people in your office making noises like that? Depends on my stress level, and if I'm stressed out, yeah. it's going to make me nuts. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. Would, that would need to stop. <laughs> I would say. What about you guys? Specific pattern. Deal with that. One. I mean, I, I I no longer have an office, so not an issue. And my <laughs> wife sits on the other side of the house, so it's fine. Okay, just back. People who enter a store and stop right inside the mm. doorway with people behind them. Bonus when they make a quick 180 while walking and wind yeah, up in your mother. face. Justin Bazic. I don't I don't deal with that one. Oh, that's like if you ever go to Vegas, that happens like a yeah, hundred times yeah. a minute. It's just it's yeah. I don't want to be around anybody right now. I, I, yeah. I really had it. I had to go to Vegas for, for the SEMA show in November and it was it was not a good scene. Yeah. Did not I But did you not. didn't get sick? No, I, I didn't. I got I got my booster and I was KN ninety five yeah. masks. Actually, I really enjoyed SEMA with a mask on. People didn't stop me. Yeah, and yeah. To talk to me. That's good. I could get to the meetings I had. Right. It was okay. But but no, yeah. Vegas is not a good time. We right seem now. to be in an odd position today as we sit here and record. What do you mean? With this, uh, the whole world shutting down around oh. us again. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's gonna be a shit show. It's gonna be a shit show again. Shit yeah. show. The you know the polar cap is is evaporating and. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean everything is just. You open up the paper. <laughs> that's re, that should be the grievances. Is that the world is dying? Yeah. That's Don't my, you think? I have a theory, Zuckerman. Here's my theory, and I'm probably wrong. But my theory is there's so much news and everybody can write every little thing that's happening that the world has already always been a fucked up place. It's just there's now we get granular said. details about the chaos. Right. Well, except for the Antarctic ice sheet. That's actually probably a pretty big story. That that's, one's that's, probably that's, that's, that's a new it? one. Yeah, because that was kind of terrifying. I mean, there was snowball earth at one point. The whole earth was covered with snow, and then it melted back and disappeared. Is it? You know, I, I don't know. Th 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 this, this one a sounds fine. bad. This one sounds I would say bad. it's like it's like is a, it? Yeah, it's I like a piece of yeah. ice the size of New Jersey. This one, it would have to get very, very cold for a Quickly. very, very long time. It's not like I, plugging the fridge back in again. It just doesn't happen. You know, remember George Carlin used to say, "He goes, look, he goes, the earth is going to be fine." The, the, the people yeah, won't people be. People will die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But the earth right. is going to be make it. Yeah. just fine. Did you and read I, that thing? What was it? Bezos' little trip. He put out. He put out enough carbon dioxide for one billion people <laughs> yeah. for his little <laughs> for his little space. cowboy yeah. hat trip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. flying yeah. to space is the most carbon intensive yeah. activity that one could do. And uh, I was 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 it seventy five tons of carbon per year is the average American. Some people use less than one, you know, in, in, you know, the use less than one ton of carbon per year, and he put out seventy-five billion tons of yeah. carbon to fly to space. That's cool. He should yeah. get a merit badge for that. <laughs> yeah, put yeah. next to his astronaut badge. Right. Um, here's a good one. Green <laughs> teen trophy that says "You win," and then take yeah. two thirds of his money away. Green teener, and it's a picture of an old man. Green teener, sixty-six. I'm guessing that's also his Pornhub uh, profile. Uh, Drivers in Coachella Valley, but this could be anywhere. Drivers that can't figure out the roundabout. And this is valid. This is very valid. And I'll tell you from personal experience, I was on the phone chatting with our friend and a giant crash next to me because the, the person in front of me stopped at the roundabout and a guy was on his phone behind me and came in at 50 and missed the defender by millimeters and smashed through the whole thing. And it was all because of this idiot that stopped at the roundabout. It's dangerous. I can, it's the it's the closest I've come to dying in ten years. Well, that you gotta accident. do you gotta do either or, right? So meaning I'm sorry, you gotta do like one or the other. Like like in England, it's all roundabouts, no right. red lights. There's no mixed culture. And there's no problem. Here it's mostly red lights and you have like you know, one or three roundabouts and no one knows what to do with them. So it should be part of your training, but it's not. But we should get rid of all red lights and put in all roundabouts. No more stopping. It's go. Go, go, go. 
That's my theory. Yes, we can you. be like the Italians to riff. Wow, this, this love is, uh, here's some F1 controversy from Irvin Reaver. People who celebrate a championship when they only won because the officials broke the rules. Verstappen. Does anybody give yeah, a shit about we that? Don't we don't I care. Don't give a shit. I, you know, I'll say that uh, that w I don't know if you watched that, but like Someone's they literally changed the rules like mid lap. It was like it was pretty egregious. It was pretty pro wrestling. I just <laughs> am not like interested in a sport where a rules technicality determines the winner like that. I have a hard time. Uh, you know what I'll do is I'll watch that episode of Drive to Survive with great intent. But what? I just I didn't watch the race. Admittedly, I heard eight thousand people talking about it right afterwards, and I just didn't care about their justifications for being angry. I just watched the. I woke up and I you know opened up uh, Instagram and everyone was freaking out. And then I you know, I had it I had it taped and I watched like the last lap and they literally like all right these five cars are here no wait I'm, I'm reversing my decision mid lap now the cars are here yeah. and then it meant that he could chase them down and it was like. That's that's how like, WWE works, you know. Yeah, Rob Holland wrote a nice piece. Um, racing driver Rob Holland, he's the who, best. Yeah, who's also a, an automotive journalist of sorts, uh, wrote a really good piece, sort of analyzing the inconsistency of the rules throughout the season, not just in the oh, one yeah, race. Yeah. And uh, that's a good piece. It's on the drive. And uh, so I, I read that, but I, watched, I have a hard time caring that much. They I, both have. Uh, Richard Millet's and uh, <laughs> private jets and well, so what was, what They're both the, winners. The race before was interesting because I watched it with Tommy Kendall and it was great because he was yelling stuff out before the announcers were. Oh, really? Yeah, he was just sitting there. He's like, oh, he's brake testing them. And, and then the announcer's like, oh, we think it's a brake test. And so everyone cheers for Max because they're like, we like how dangerous he is. And like Tommy and I are like, he's going to murder some people. Look how he's driving. <laughs> so it was cool to watch it with a pro driver. Yeah, you know? yeah. that would be good. Tommy was, Kendall would be good yeah, race it watching. It was so fun. I'd rather watch Money Heist. Um, <laughs> Honor Fort says Pelican Parts has my 911 SC brake calipers on back order. So this is a very personal oh grievance, and they're not sure when they'll be coming my way. My 911 is on jack stands for an indefinite amount of time. Pelican Parts. Well, this is a your supply chain's a real grievance right now. Don't yeah. Well, it's in a boat. It's in a right it's now. It's true. in a cargo ship off a of Long Beach. But stuff's around. Oh, yeah, you, I can't get tires for my 280 SL. I want yeah, the yeah, correct tires, point. and they're nowhere to be had. BMW can't get tires for their freaking press cars. Oh, really? Yeah, we had the M5 CS on the wrong tires. Like oh, we're wow. like, I'm like, when can we get the right tires? They go March, and this oh, is no. in November. Yeah. So. Donnie was able to get the part he needed for my Countach from Valentino Balboni. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. This is one of my biggest uh, driving grievances uh, from Croatian. People it's who pronounced Croatian. Croatian. <laughs> number one, one. Number, no, no, we're number like 35 Croatian. in Croatia. Croatian. Croatian. People who do that little swerve left before making a right turn oh, is yeah. the most dangerous thing. You mean thing a Scandinavian of, flick? There is, is no need called? to make a wide right. No. Uh, do you know I, why? I, I do that. Because it, I do that. Because I'm always in a rush, and someone makes that little left turn, I go to the right around them, yes. and I come so close to hitting people all the time. You don't need to it's do that. It's in the driving instruction book. Don't do that. <laughs> you make the turn. You don't make. You don't elbow left or elbow right. It, you don't do it because precisely it causes accidents. I do it, but I'm going faster than other people and, and it's a, that you know you, you take the line it's you know you want to you want a nice circle a little you don't the do way that you really do bit. that on the road yeah oh come but, on but Johnny. Really you right you're not gonna trust me no, one, no one's gonna hit he's me. gonna make a right turn onto la brea like that that you can't do that I that's do a that. really bad idea no, it's, it's called great. swanging if yeah. you did that swang and i saw it was you <laughs> You I'd wouldn't catch me. It's not a problem. It's, it's a, a major problem. How is it a problem? Because it, it, there's always someone in a rush behind you, and when you indicate you're going right. in one direction, I'll jump really quickly to your right, and then you're smashing right into me. No, I'll be going fast enough that it won't <laughs> no, be an issue. No, no, no. no, no. no. Hand me the jet. <laughs> no. no. And I, I only do it when I'm moving fast, when I want to have a good corner. You know, I don't, I don't do it like I'm talking about a, like street driving and city driving. Yeah, I mean, you know. Don't do that. Well... Oh my God, Johnny! Swang. You're old before your time. Swang. No, no, it's it's a. It, it, okay, here you go. Not enough GT3s at MSRP. Says Nan Panisar, and that's true. Very. It wouldn't it wouldn't be the GT3 if it was MSRP? Hey, did anybody see that Mantha uh, GT3? Yeah, with the weird rear rear yeah. rear wheels. I don't think they're weird. I think they're gorgeous. 
Have you guys seen this? I don't know if they're gorgeous. I hope they're functional. I'm, I've got a bunch of watch pictures here. Let me see if I, I've got I ain't this seen picture. them. But I will say, I was trying to I'm hunt down show the GT3 right for a friend, and I called some friends of mine their own dealerships, and they're like, the best we can do is 10% over. <laughs> 10 percent 20k 20k well let me tell you that, so. that's a good I've deal heard, i've heard i've heard 100 yeah oh yeah i've heard 100 yeah. but i was like really that's your best they're like that's all we can do they're like 935 wheels they're yeah. they're really cool but, but only the, on the back and only in the back yeah yeah i, they, I put they them must with, do something with the air, the way the air moves over the rear wheels i really really who are those guys because they're the guys that uh tuned up the gt2 rs and made it faster than the lambo right yeah they the, run a a, a the racing team in in europe and then this is the but are they affiliated with porsche i think they're getting closer and closer yeah it's affiliated but not exactly it's not like a factory thing yeah but it's sort of like a like a dine-in with bmw where they, they their products won't void the Porsche warranty. Mm -hmm. It's like that kind of thing. But it's Europe only. They don't have, they have no presence in the U.S. Oh, I want it. I want those wheels. I thought they were great. And it, you know, I'm sorry, but there aren't going to be stickered GT3s. They're just yeah. not. They're, in it fact, things the, have gotten way worse than they've ever been. It wouldn't be the GT3 right? if it was. But a buddy but of mine. But they're still higher than they've ever been, right? Zuckerman, can you remember a time where a GT3 was the, a so far GT3, over sticker? A regular GT3, no. Never, never right? Yeah, never. that's the thing. When you're, talking so? 100, when you're talking 70 over 100 over these, these are unheard of numbers. Yeah. 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 This yeah. Was, yeah. These were the kind of numbers that they might have gotten... I don't know. The, the, the GT2 2 RS, G, the 2 RS was like the 100. G, GT3 4.0 was getting some real money over back in the day. Um, but that was, you know, 600 cars for the world. Yeah. But it's also a regular production car, to your point. And so if you wait a year, like when all the other specials come out, maybe GT3s will float you back think, down okay, to Earth. Guys, is production getting to pre-COVID levels anytime soon? March. I keep hearing March. Do you believe that, Matt? No. Yeah. Not really. No, everybody's going to die in a couple months. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is over. This Omicron. little experiment in humanity is done. <laughs> Omicron is going to get it. Omicron. 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 Omicron is the new COVID bank. I wish one of these variants would go into your brain and you would talk like the variant. It would take you over and go, hey. <laughs> Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> that's busters. that's the variant I, I want to see. Uh, watch, watch wheel design says talking on phones on speaker at max volume and walking yeah. around. Horrible. Public spaces, supermarkets, department stores. Yes, yeah. this has to stop. And usually, I don't mean to to say you know what, who this say is. It, but say it. You know who say it is it. mostly. And I and I Jews? asked why. Jews? What? It's no, Jews. Ladies. It's Jews. <laughs> it's the Jews. Jews. And they got to stop. Yeah. No, it's women. And Ooh. I asked my wife why, and she said, because we don't want to get makeup on our phone. And I went, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Did you ever <laughs> see you look at a car and a woman's talking like this? Yeah. It's because when they, they have makeup on their face, that, that, actually, that actually, actually makes make sense. But sense. you know what? Right? I, I, I do that sometimes just because, like, you know, with a touch screen, sometimes you rub your face and all of a sudden you hang up or something. Yeah. So well, I that's because you have shit on your face. Yeah, but your beard is yeah, that's not a different because story. shit on my face. No, I, I see a lot beard, of people have shit in your mouth that aren't. Yeah. <laughs> I see, you ever see people like out walking around on FaceTime, but they're not, it's like the camera, yeah. it's like pointed somewhere else. Yeah. They're not actually. Neither of the party is That's looking weird. at the yeah, other's yeah, face. Yeah. Are they? Are they like, are what they, are you on Facetime for? Somebody has to invent a, a lens that I don't have to look at myself from the chin up. The most horrible angle where you just go, "Oh God!" It's just it's, it's still horrible right. to right. see yourself that just way. Just make yourself a mouse <laughs> or some other. Some right, other thing. right. That's a good. You idea. can do that. Actually, you can yeah. make yeah. yourself you can a mouse. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. much more appealing. I'm than, an elephant yeah. usually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Johnner SF says people with baby on board stickers. Yeah, fuck those people. What? <laughs> but oh, why? I'm surprised you procreated. Oh, boy. I've never... No one does that. No, they want you to be safe around oh, their really, baby. Oh, was I going to crash like, into you other yeah, than that if yeah, I, without yeah. that sticker? Oh, oh, no, hit the you just proclaimed me that you managed to get someone you. pregnant. Wow. Wow. The jury. Because that's what it is, job. right? It's bragging about doing well, what's yeah, normal. Look, you did something no one else can do. It's my one of my favorite onion headlines <laughs> is like, you know, the miracle of birth happens for the seven billionth time. Yeah. Some folks want to know if uh, Zuckerman you've caught up with fecal Frank it's not really a resentment but that's last week's episode with the man going to the bathroom on your building I was threatening to to make a joint text between somebody between my 
<laughs> my sister-in-law and fecal Frank. I said, Tracy, I'm going to send a joint text message and tell, and tell Frank that you're also an outdoor pooper and that you two should get together. <laughs> you heard about this? this a, a homeless you don't, you don't have no, to. No, no, this was the point. We don't, don't have to go through the whole thing again. The whole thing. But Give me the it, short version because I wasn't here. A man poops on his building Except for fun man, and he caught him. Get the fuck out of here, really? With a, he gets out of his car to poop on the building and then get back in. <laughs> like... More than once? Yes. Zuckerman hired a private <laughs> eye to track him down. <laughs> and now he has that a nickname, apparently, which I didn't rules. know until I read yeah. this Can you question. put a sign up that says, like, Dear We Pooper. had a nice conversation. <laughs> Me and him. I called him. They're having lunch. Seriously? Please, I, I need to hear from you that you're not going to defecate on my building you again. you find out who it is? Yeah, yeah. Because I just you, had his plate. Did you ask Pico <laughs> Frank to come into the show? Uh, we can call him right now. <laughs> you have his you number? Do I, oh, yeah. You do. Does he have an outgoing voicemail? Like, okay. hi, this is Frank. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, and then, you can't and, reach me because I'm shitting well, on yeah. someone's shitting. building right now? Hold on, hold on. I'm either at up, work or shitting on someone's house. The board. Let me see. He won't know who this is. And I'm going to have to oh, ask him if it's okay if I use your... I would, okay, hold I'm on. calling you on a recorded line. Can we talk about the There's fact that you're Frank. shitting on a legal... F- on a law firm. Okay, hold on. Right, sure. <laughs> Which is, okay. But he hired a private eye and found him. Check wow. me the number. What type of vehicle does oh. Fecal Frank drive? Okay, it's a nice go. car? Here, Something on. decent? Just text me the number and I'm let's see if it'll the work. Number, hold on. <laughs> see, this is you know you complain about the soundboard listeners that does this stuff. Wow. We can make phone calls right now to yeah, Fecal I don't know. Frank. You really want to call Fecal Frank? Yes. Okay, yes, we of definitely. course we do. Yeah, yes, we do. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I have text, nothing text. to but say. But I'm just upset that I won't be able to hear it because we're not on headphones. Uh, Only Spike will be able yeah, to hear it. Well, put, put the phone on speaker. I might be able to put it on speaker. No, I don't think you can. I probably only have one output. Bluetooth Let's or speaker, but mm. I have to find. I, I'm That's sorry, okay. I'm Spike can interview so much him. Time because I didn't. You, you I should have saved him under his name because I know his name. You but. think you'd have Fecal Frank on speed dial? <laughs> you don't have it. I, I'm gonna find it for you in a second. I just don't want let's, to. Let's do another grievance and here's come a, back to this. A, uh, no, no way. Well, Are you while kidding? He's looking, well, it could take a while. Well, go ahead. No, while we're on something great. Here's, while he's looking, just to fill airtime. <laughs> yes. While, here's a grieve, brief grievance. Okay. Uh, I got a call today from my wife. I was at my office. She was at the house. The garage door went up on its own. And we've got cameras and we've got a little app that tells you it's a. So the garage door went up on its own. In the past, we've thought it was like, oh, maybe the cat stepped on a remote that was sitting there or something. Maybe, but but no. We pull up the security cameras, and right as the garage door went up, a white van with city markings was driving by our house. And so now when I get home, I am going to have to, like, wipe all our remotes and, like, repro Because, I don't know, someone might have, like, somehow cloned our frequency or Possible. something yeah, or yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But Did it's you find really it bugging something? the fuck out of us right now. Well, that's not good. It's creepy. Oh, you can, you, know, you can call him door. and put him on speaker yourself and just hold the microphone right I'm up to it. I'm trying to find it. It's, uh, it's, it's, you didn't store him under okay, F for feces? Here. Okay. Here. <laughs> you want call, uh, t- <laughs> <laughs> so I will turn your mic up high. This is either the best or the worst thing that's ever happened on a podcast. On a Friday night. <laughs> You think he's home? You don't think he's out pooping? Put, pull it up. Pull up the mic. Shh. Hi. Please leave your message. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But, I, but I've been telling people this is what it's that like to be. That was almost worth it. <laughs> <laughs> This, this is what it's like to be friends with Zuckerberg. Like he doesn't. He actually call, he doesn't call you to like, hey, how you doing? I got a new car. It's like this guy shit on my building. <laughs> you gotta hear this. This is how courageous this outgoing <laughs> message. I know it's been a pleasure doing business with you today. That was it. I don't even want to talk to him. But if he, he wants to come on and explain himself, that was hilarious. That was great. What a what a festivus we're having here. <laughs> Beagle Frank's outgoing message. Do you think it's just a convenient place for this no, person? Oh, it's a thing, it's, Farrah. It's a thing. It's uh. a thing. Do you think he doesn't like you or one of your law partners? No, I think he just has a thing. Oh. He's got a thing. You know, he shit, you think he's shitting in other buildings, too? He called. After we had a nice conversation, <laughs> he called me back five minutes later, and he said to me, 
I have to ask you, how did you get my number? And I said, that's a great question for a guy who's got a filthy hobby like you. <laughs> because everybody knows who you are and what you're doing. Well, now they do. Yep. And now they've heard his message. Just post his number and then you, could, you too can talk to Beagle Frank for the holidays. He should get on Cameo. We should we really should get him on Cameo and you could pay for a message. From Fecal Frank. Or maybe he, could, he would come shit on you. I mean, maybe you get under a glass table. I, he just comes shits on the table. You know, thanks to Next Door, I've learned that this is, it, it's way more common than you think. And it's not necessarily a homeless issue. It's joggers. Joggers. There's lots of joggers oh, yeah. who are very comfortable going to the bathroom outside all of a sudden. They get, they get a, fire, dude. They get a mile away from the house and they just drop trowel and, and they're off. Burn I'm hanging out at my place in Venice, man. You'll see all kind of stuff. Fecal Bur Frank might be ahead of, ahead of himself. He might be a genius, actually. Burn those if anybody shorts. really wants to meet him, I'll send a joint text. <laughs> <laughs> we should hold a raffle. Yeah. And then we'll hold a raffle who gets to get a, a joint text from me. Please meet my friend. <laughs> You two have something in common. <laughs> Take another it from here, guys. Start a new dating app. Yeah. You know? He is a fascinating... Date. <laughs> he's the, probably one of the more fascinating characters we've we could ever... Get, or we could get the car thief. Remember the guy who's the guy in the middle of a terrible addiction, though, and that's quite, kind of sad, right? He's going to die, and he's not thinking straight. Fecal Frank is doing his own thing. He's 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 got this lifestyle path that none of us Do you thought think it's of. Really Fecal Farouk. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to get into we that. We know the I mean, real name. That's I know the real name. Yeah. Uh, all right. How can I segue out of that? Driving this car is going to be cold on the way home with no heat and no real. Patrick break. Daniel Campbell. I'll have a grievance if we don't get to hear the full origin story of the Tangerine seventy three RS that you, Zuck, and Jerry and Sam have all owned. That's the story. I mean, we've told it many times, right? It, 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 the newest chapter would be Jerry and I want back in yeah. <laughs> to that car, and I'm sure Sam would as well. Um, I did I tell you I drove that seventy four uh, Carrera. That, no. that Jerry uh, sold to Sam and then got back, and then he this, went through. That car was a revelation, that car. Holy moly, was it good. Stainless a 74 Carrera, 2.7 yeah. MFI. And, and Sam's son, Gianni, who works with Jerry, did some work to it and went through the engine. That car was outstanding. That's I, a car that I think we should look for. I, I like a 74 MFI Carrera yeah. ROW. That would be a very this cool addition. This is the U.S. Addition. version. This isn't yeah, one of those I Euro think that, specs. I think that they, they probably breathed on well, it a he bit. Put, he, he did, and they put a stainless steel exhaust on and some fatter tires, and I was skeptical. I didn't want to drive it that day, and first red light I stopped, and I went, I had that moment where you go, shit, here's a something new I didn't know about that I need. How does it compare you, to a 73? It's so different, Zuckerman. It's just beefier, right? So it they basically made a ST, because an ST was like a 2.7 with fatter tires. But it was the sound. It was that 74 steering wheel that I love. Or it might have been my first one. That, yeah. It was just a whole thing together. I just went open mouth and went shit. Let's do a Plan Z on a '74 career. We would have. We have to learn more. We'll have to talk to Gianni and learn more about this car because it's not stock, and and the way it's set up is perfection. And I had driven the car years before and said to Jerry, "Yeah, get rid of it. It's not worth driving." Now it's a must have. This thing must have. Um, so there you go. There's a little story. How about that? Um, How about it? What else? If we uh, we're, we're nearing an hour, we should get to a feat of strength if we've got it. Um, there are some that would like that feat of strength to be Matt Farah fighting Johnny Lieberman. <laughs> and finally, at Zuckerman's suggestion, who would win? But that, I don't want to see tonight. that. It's too that, cold. It's, it's too, too cold. cold for that. Yeah. Uh, Jason Camisa fighting Johnny. We do want to see that. That would be a quick fight. You think you would beat him? I think he'd go completely psycho and like just like like rip <laughs> yeah. me into fifteen pieces. Yeah. He would wait for you to go to sleep. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. Attack. It would be bad. It would be bad. Um. Yeah, let's go to feats of strength. Uh, right. Johnny the rest was like of them, ready thank to you, do a feat of strength. Yeah, thank you guys for uh, sending all that stuff Great in. Great questions. Uh, and that comments. was good. Uh, we'll try to answer some more of these here. Um, Near it. So is, uh, we're moving on the to the feat of strength. Johnny has. Are you putting nails in your face? Johnny has opened a Johnny's plastic container with wooden nails with in it. The three rest of his nails. 16 like nails. nails. Hold on, hold yeah. on, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait, before you do something, <laughs> as the uh, CEO of Hangar 56, are you about to hurt yourself? <laughs> maybe. I, I, we don't encourage this. Maybe. I've never I've tried this. I've signed the insurance waiver. So this is, um, these are wraps you use for bending metal. So my friend and coach Hercules, who's a... Uh, 
working strong man mailed me these. Okay. Uh-huh. And uh, I've seen videos of him bending nails, and these are All the right. biggest nails I could find in my house. Decent. Feel it. You know, make sure it's a real nail. It feels like a real nail. So right. you were going to attempt. I'm going to try to bend this nail. To okay. bend a bend wood a nail. nail. Here, hold it right up to the camera so we can have it's a look. It's a wood it. nail. Wow. It looks like a 16 penny nail. Yeah, that's a real nail. All right. All right. Uh, I got to wrap it. So you got to do a little uh, filler. You got to hold the okay. mic. For, we'll okay. just describe. Are you? How do you? How do you actually wrap it? You've got like a. He's got a ten, in, a ten by four inch piece of uh, suede, and he's wrapping the top half of the nail, like rolling it up. Like a uh, cannoli here. Yes, and 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 Lieberman he's is, got one, is one a carny. Half. You should know that about him. Yeah, he's got one one piece of suede on the top of the nail, one piece of there suede on yes. the bottom of the nail. And, he and now he's standing he's up, standing. <laughs> Don't defecate. Oh, oh, he bend the applying nail? strength. <laughs> he's passing gas. <laughs> do these do these suede things give you like leverage? Yes. Is that what they do? They extend the leverage. He bent the nail. He Hold bent it up. the Whoa. nail. There you go. There you so go. So if you did it without the suede, it would, the nail would just go through your hand. Right, right, so right. the yeah. suede is just like... Amazing. Uh, yeah. Right. Feet of strength for Festivus. Amazing. All right. Yeah. Let me get Impressive. a picture of that. Now swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if my wife was here, she could pound it up her nose. I don't know how to oh, do that one. Nah. Your wife can do that? I was, wor- I was, she was worried a, she you were going to do that. No, no. My wife can do that. She, wow. Human blockhead, they call it. Do you want another bizarre feat of strength? Uh, okay. What do I you used got? to do this at bars to impress girls. No, no, don't do that. What are you gonna? What is it? I haven't done it in probably ten years. Okay, do it. <laughs> I haven't done it in a long, very long time. All right, I, you're gonna give yourself I CTE. Used to, I used to tear the whole top of a beer can off of my teeth. <laughs> oh God! <What>? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's eating <laughs> metal. Oh my god! I've never seen. He's like a can, I gotta try this. can opener. I gotta try this. This couldn't be good for your gums. <laughs> be careful, please. He's got a can in his kidding. mouth, and he's beer is spilling. Zuckerman, yeah, is that yeah, water? Z- uh, uh, water? Zuckerman's carpet is once it's again. Water. It's water. Okay. This is good. He said, "Be careful! Don't cut your this lip." This is such a shocking, <laughs> shocking thing! <laughs> wow! wow. Look Festivus. at Festivus! Amazing! Happy Festivus! Now, did you ever get a girl by doing that? Hold that up, Matt. And let me take a nice picture of that. That's impressive. Oh, oh it's got a little pineapple essence in it. There you oh, go. <laughs> yeah. Rug, but it's been unbelievable! Wow! Did Another you ever? Ta-da. Did you ever get a girl uh, by doing that? I. I mean, I don't know if I ever got a girl, but they <laughs> no. weren't. It wasn't at the That's time. The it wasn't as embarrassing as it seems now right, as a right, thing to right. do. Yeah. yeah, you guys should have been roommates in college. <laughs> you know what? I, you know what did happen once? I shredded my lip. Oh, I'm sure you did. I, yeah, I yeah. gashed my face open yeah. doing it once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, that was the first time in about ten years I've that done was that. Well done. <laughs> it was, it, it, it was, was very was gnawing on a can, yeah, but it was very well done. <laughs> well, happy Festivus. Yeah, to all of you listening. I can already hear Bill complaining that we had a fr- another frat house show full of poop talk and masturbation. Uh, John Guzik's already. T- you guys all spoke over each other. Fecal. Uh, what is this? Uh, fecal Jim. What's his Frank. name? Fecal Frank. Frank. <laughs> it's uh, it's truly a special holiday <laughs> for all of us here at Spikes Car Radio. We love all of you Next listening year around we're the world. Hanging a clock on that wall. Um, <laughs> in a bag. In a bag. bag. And we sincerely hope that you have a safe and happy holiday and keep yourself safe and your family safe. And on the way out, our listeners, uh, the Jungle, the Jingle Punks, wrote a special Festivus song for Spikes Car Radio. The Jingle Punks. They've been listening. Um, I, it's my hope that they start writing a lot of jingles for us. Zuckerman jingles, the whole deal. Yes. So uh, here are the jingle punks and their festivist song. We'll see you next week on Spike's Car Radio. Bye. Spike's Car Radio. Reason for the season is the airing of the grievances. I tell you all just how you disappoint me. Ho, 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 and all that crap. Open your ears and shut your trap. And I'll disarrange why you're a failure. It's best of us. You disappoint the rest of us. You are a failure. Let me regale you. It's best of us. You're not impressing us. I could spell it out.
Thanks for listening to Spikes Car Radio, brought to you by Hangar 56. Listen to new episodes every Wednesday, and be sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts.